In this video we'll be connecting a USB power supply to a KTM Duke 390. Test the device just to make sure it's working. So we can connect up battery. So you can use the battery in your motorcycle. We'll just connect these up. And you see we've got power to the device. Check with a mobile phone. Just plug that into the device. And into my mobile phone. And it uh, the power came up. If I plug it into the other port, you can see that we should get the power port. And we've got power again. So it's a good idea to check these once you get them. The black connector is for the negative or ground and the red is the positive line. So now I've got a close up just on the uh, left hand side of the bike. There are two sets of terminals that I've poked out from under the fuel tank. Um, a set here and a set here. KTM come with two sets of um, powered outputs, auxiliary outputs. I've actually marked these up. As you see, that gives a reading of just over 12 volts um, and that's the unswitched auxiliary port. And if we plug it into the other auxiliary ports, just a nominal output, switch the, switch the power on, that gives us our 12 volt power supply. So this is the switched one. So this is accessories two, which is what we'll be using to connect our USB power supply. Turn the bike off. If you connect these up and um, these terminals are put in the wrong way so you can work out which one's positive and which one's negative. So I'll just show you an example. Put those in the wrong way. Switch the power on. You'll see that comes out with a negative voltage so that that way you can actually determine if the polarity is reversed. Turn the bike off. We'll connect up. Now I've connected up the two terminals to the device. You can see that we've got the power supply light on for the USB device. This particular device, if you connect them the wrong way, um, you won't get any power to the output. So this device allows you to disconnect it in the middle. We'll be mounting it on the handlebars. I'm going to be putting it here. So it's then neatly placed under the TFT display. Is the power supply cable tied in. So I'll pop through the connector there and I'll just connect it up to the rest of the leads. I'll just push these leads down through here. So we just cable tie that directly to the frame. And we've got the lead coming out underneath here to match up with the accessory too. So what I'll be doing is tidying this up and then cable tying that again to the frame. So now I've connected the two terminals. I've put some heat shrink over it so that we can uh, tidy it up and make sure that we don't get any shorts. And we'll turn on ignition, lights up, turn off the ignition. Close it down. Thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below and appreciate if you'd like and subscribe to the channel.